In this video, we'll be taking a look at one NFL game happening on October 10, 2022, and providing you with team picks and total picks for this game, so two picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets, as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on this one NFL game. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Las Vegas Raiders vs. Kansas City Chiefs A pair of FC West rivals take to the gridiron in search of a division victory in the Show Me State. The Las Vegas Raiders are on the road looking to exercise a demon that has terrorized them in recent years as they face the Kansas City Chiefs on Monday Night Football to close out Week 5 of the NFL slate. Las Vegas comes in off a 32-23 home victory over Denver, covering as a two-and-a-half point favorite last Sunday in their most recent game. Kansas City knocked off Tampa Bay 41-31, winning outright as a two-point underdog last Sunday night in their previous contest. In the all-time regular season series, the Chiefs own a 68-53-2 advantage and have won eight of the last nine meetings, including a 48-9 home triumph in the most recent matchup on December 12, 2021. The Las Vegas Raiders will be looking to build on their first win of the season, climbing to 1-3 after a 32-23 win over the Denver Broncos last time out. They have just one win in their last nine visits to Arrowhead Stadium. After a back-and-forth opening half, the Raiders took the lead for good on the final play of the half as Daniel Carlson booted a 39-yard field goal. Las Vegas led the rest of the way to earn the victory, relying on their run game to put the Broncos away. In the game, the Raiders held a 385-299 edge in total offense, piled up a 25-12 advantage in first downs and owned a 34-52-25, eight edge in time of possession. They also forced the game's lone turnover in the victory. David Carr has thrown for 1,038 yards, six touchdowns, and four interceptions on 61 percent passing while Josh Jacobs leads the Raiders in rushing with 336 rushing yards this season. Devontae Adams leads the Raiders with 26 grabs and 290 receiving yards with three touchdowns while Mac Collins has 273 receiving yards and Darren Waller has 175 receiving yards as well this season. On defense, Divine Debo has a team-high 38 total tackles while Max Crosby has a team-high four sacks this season. Tight end Foster Morrow and safety Roderick Teamer did not practice Thursday Linebackers Jayon Brown along with Denzel Perriman, tackle Justin Heron, tight end Darren Waller plus cornerback Sam Webb and Rocky Sin all were limited. On the plus side, the Raiders did have Hunter Renfrow return to practice in a full capacity after missing the last two weeks with a concussion. The Kansas City Chiefs will try to build some momentum after improving to 3-1 on the year following a 41-31 win over Tampa Bay in their last game. Against Tampa Bay, Kansas City recovered a fumble on the opening kickoff to take a 7-0 lead 46 seconds into the game and never let the Buccaneers get even again. The Chiefs went up 14-3 with 4-0-1 to play in the opening quarter and led by double digits the rest of the contest. Kansas City owned a 417-376 edge in total offense, controlled the clock by a 38, 38-21-22 margin and forced a pair of turnovers while committing only one. Those advantages overshadowed that each team finished with 27 first downs. Patrick Mahomes has thrown for 1,106 yards, 11 touchdowns and two interceptions on 66.4% passing while Clyde Edwards-Hilaire has a team-high 208 rushing yards and a pair of touchdowns. Travis Kelce leads Kansas City's receiving group with 26 grabs for 322 receiving yards and three touchdowns while Juju Smith-Schuster has 224 receiving yards as well. Marcus Valdez-Scantling and the aforementioned Edwards-Hilaire each have 100-plus receiving yards as well this season. On defense, Nick Bolton has a team-high 37 total tackles with a pair of sacks while Algerius Sneed has a team-high three sacks as well this season. The Chiefs were relatively healthy in the first injury report of the week. 
kicker Harrison Butker, who has been out since week one, and center Creed Humphrey did not practice Thursday. Meanwhile, guard Trey Smith was limited in practice. Las Vegas is 1-5 against the spread in their last six road games and 1-4 against the spread in their last five games overall, while the under is 6-1 in their last seven games following a win. Kansas City is 6-2 against the spread in their last eight home games and 2-8 against the spread in their last ten games against a team with a losing record, while the under is 5-0 in their last five Monday games. The Raiders lost three of their first four games in both of their road games. They haven't played well offensively on the road, barely scoring more than 20 points per game. A lot of that falls on the shoulders of Carr, who has thrown four interceptions in two road games. They've thrown the ball well, but they haven't been able to establish their run game on the road. Even though the Chiefs have struggled against the pass, they have done a good job of getting to the quarterback, so expect them to make the Raiders' offense one-dimensional like they did to Tampa Bay in their last game and pressure Carr all game long and try to force him to make costly mistakes. The Chiefs have been humming offensively, averaging more than 32 points per game. They are 7th in the league in passing and 11th in rushing. The Raiders have a decent run defense, but their pass defense isn't very good. They don't force a lot of turnovers and don't have a very good pass rush, which will give Mahomes plenty of time to operate in the pocket and pick their secondary apart. I get the case to be made for the Raiders and the points as this is a better Raiders team than their record would indicate and have had some close losses already this season. However, the Chiefs are the better team by a fair margin here and appear to have woken up in a big way against Tampa Bay last week. The Chiefs have simply dominated the Raiders in recent meetings and won last year's games by a combined score of 89-23. to I believe that Kansas City will win this one by double digits in a spotlight statement game. So the Kansas City Chiefs to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Las Vegas stayed under the total in each of their first two games this season before going over in their last two. In their games this season, the Raiders posted combined point totals of 43 versus the Chargers, 52 versus the Cardinals, 46 versus the Titans, and 55 versus the Broncos entering this one. The sportsbooks had totals of 53, 53, 45 and a half, and 45 points, respectively. The Chiefs, like Las Vegas, have split their four games in relation to the total this season. Kansas City combined with their opponents to put up 65 points versus the Cardinals, 51 versus the Chargers, 37 versus the Colts, and 72 versus Tampa Bay in their games this year. Meanwhile, the sportsbook set totals of 54, 53, 50 and a half, and 47 and a half points, respectively, in those games. The over has hit in each of the last four meetings with 55 combined points, the lowest total in that span. The Raiders are averaging 24 points per game and 20 and a half points per game on the road. They averaged 18 points per game in their last three games against the Chiefs. They love to air out the ball and the Chiefs, who are giving up 24 points per game, have struggled against the pass, so expect them to hit their average in this game. The Chiefs are averaging 32 points per game and they scored 27 points in their only home game. They have one of the best passing offenses in the league and the Raiders, who are giving up 24 points per game on the road, have one of the worst pass defenses, so expect them to score enough points to push the score past the total. The Raiders have plenty of holes in their back seven that the Chiefs will be able to exploit. Exploit. Plus, the Chiefs and Raiders played over the total in their last four meetings. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.